Hey, it feels like we are well into autumn. As I headed into work today, I was admiring the gorgeous leaves. I feel like they've suddenly taken a real tone and are really gorgeous colours. And apparently, the leaves on our trees are hanging on to themselves, onto the trees for even longer this year. The National Trust says that the cool and wet months we've had are leading to a longer display of leaves. Well, let's find out more from Dr. Jonathan Mitchley from the University of Reading. Jonathan, what do you reckon? Have you been enjoying the new autumn colours yourself? Absolutely, yes. Hello. Um, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a field botanist, so I'm fascinated by plants in the field. Um, and one of the glories of plants is, of course, autumn colour, which we're really lucky to enjoy in this country, but also other parts of the world. New England in the United States is famous. Japan, the Loire Valley. But it's all to do with um, forests that are dominated by what we call broad-leaved um, trees, things like oaks and ash and, and maples. Um, which uh, have to drop their leaves in the winter um, uh, to survive the, the cold uh, period because if they kept the leaves on, um, they would be basically running out of energy because they'd be running these leaves on, on basically uh, cold, um, uh, t- cold temperatures. Um, so we don't see this in, for example, coniferous forests. Um, conifers are able to keep their leaves on in the harsh time. So it's broad-leaved uh, sort of oak ash, Uh, maple woodlands such as we enjoy um, in in this country yeah and you mentioned America there in Japan and it's interesting because I think when I picture autumn I have never been in New York in the autumn but that is what I picture I picture like those lovely like big trees lining you know ways that you see in like movies and stuff what means that those trees uh, that we associate with autumn like are maybe a bit bigger and better in America. Is it the kind of trees themselves or is it the temperature that gives them those gorgeous colours? Well, I mean, I just, I, if I could start with something which is actually um, quite new and, and your your listeners will be the first to hear this. Um, uh, it's all it's all about this this wonderful autumn colour. So sometimes we go we go to you know in the autumn we go we go to bed. Uh, the trees are green. We wake up the next day and there are all these beautiful reds and oranges and all this kind of thing. And something that I'm quite keen on, but we haven't quite yet got the evidence for, is that actually these wonderful colours that suddenly appear in the forest. It's all down to Banksy. Um, so Banksy, <laughs> he, he comes out. He's getting he, up in the night. He's and colouring he's painting them all, all these leaves. Yes, beautiful colours. Okay, <laughs> uh, the the jury's out on that one. So let's focus on 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 some of the scientific realities. Um, and yeah, it's to do with you mentioned this. It's to do um, with actually two um, two elements um, of our environment. One is the uh, rainfall, um, and the other. Um, uh, is is the temperature actually three things temperature and then the day length so as we approach autumn um, of course it gets cooler and also the day length declines after the summer uh, solstice we're getting shorter days as we as we know and the clocks change um, and trees will respond to both of these things so as the national trust says we've had a wet year <laughs> so the trees are full of leaves if we'd had a drier year Trees tend to drop their leaves early because, again, they've got to keep these leaves going. If it's if there's not much water around, they'll drop their leaves early. But we've had loads of water. So actually, we could be in for an absolutely spectacular autumn. So Banksy could be really busy because um, <laughs> we've got so many leaves on the trees. Um, and we're talking things like uh, maples um, and an ash and an and oak. Um, Mm -hmm. and the like and um, some of these trees will respond to the shorter days and they'll start to change color Um, one of uh, I think that the the maples um, uh, um, yeah I'm just trying to think which which, which ones Um, but some of the trees will respond to to the shorter day lengths and some will respond to um, the cooler temperatures and some respond to both so it's a combination okay. of these factors that leads to the changes in colour. And um, actually, um, what's going on in the leaves is a wonderful example of, of, of nature recycling um, uh, it, its, its um, resources. So the leaf, a green leaf, has chlorophyll in it. We know probably we've heard of this chlorophyll. It's an amazing um, molecule, which is which gives the leaves their green colour. And, and the, the chlorophyll does the... 
um, the, the wonderful photosynthesis, which means that the plant can convert sunlight, energy from sunlight, into sugars and can grow. And the whole of terrestrial life is really based on this because, of course, animals large and small, including, including humans, will eat plants and the energy that they get from the plants comes ultimately from sun. So chlorophyll is doing this, but chlorophyll is, a, a, if you like, an expensive molecule. The, the, the plant expends energy producing this chlorophyll. And as the, um, uh, the temperatures decline and the, and the day length declines, obviously less sunshine, the chlorophyll isn't going to be doing so much photosynthesis. But it's, as I say, it's an expensive molecule. So the plants will break it down and they will recycle those nutrients. And what happens then, why, does, why do the leaves change color from green? There are other pigments in the leaves which are doing other things. Um, things like carotenoids, which result in the very orange um, colors of, of some leaves, and then um, also other other uh, molecules, um, other sorry, other um, <laughs> pigments uh, called anthocyanins, which result in the red and and purple colors that we get. So basically, the green of the chlorophyll goes, and then other pigments that have been in the leaf all along um, uh, come into view. And that's why we get these oh, wonderful colours. And that's a response. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful, like, seeing the change as well. And it, I feel like it's such a nice marker of the seasons changing. And I feel like you saying that the, the wet um, months that we've been having has led to the leaves staying longer. I feel like that's a fair trade. I'm like, okay, if, if summer was a bit more soggy, um, I'm up, up for dealing with that if it means we get these gorgeous leaves. How much longer, though, are we going to be holding on to them? How, how much different in time does it have? When do you think those leaves will be gone? Well, it's again, it comes down to two things. The, <clears throat> the trees that respond to day length, they're going to change in response to day length. So they tend to change quite quickly. And I think the things that, that I think of particularly are some of the cherry trees that, that go brilliant red. Um, um, and so those that will happen as it normally does. Those that the, the trees that respond to temperature may be things like oaks, um, maybe the maples that I mentioned, they might, the colours might change a, a, a bit later because of, of the wetter conditions. What that could mean is that we have a longer spread out of the colour changes, different trees um, starting earlier and then some later. It also depends how the weather goes um, this autumn. So if, if it stays wet, then this is kind of logical. Those leaves, the leaves that are on, on the, um, the trees might stay a bit longer. Um, what we really mm. want, re what we really want is some nice, uh, cool, sunny, drier weather. And that will stimulate uh, the colour changes, which could be really spectacular this year. Because there's so many leaves on the trees, there is potential for really spectacular colour this, this year. But it does depend on us getting a bit, getting away from this wet weather and getting something a bit drier, cool um, and sunny. And of course, in the sunshine, the colours look absolutely spectacular. Oh, they look stunning. It's my favourite thing about autumn is the leaves. And now I feel like I can um, gaze upon them with a newfound appreciation. Thanks to you, Jonathan. You've given me the understanding of what's actually going in and leaves themselves. Um, and maybe it's just Banksy. Well, <laughs> to Jonathan Mitchley from the University of Reading. Thank you so much for your time this Saturday. And I hope as you're out on your autumn walk later on today, you can think of Jonathan's wisdoms. Take a newfound appreciation for that leaf. <laughs>